Okay, for this project, you're going to have to go to our website to get some resources. If you want, if you're doing this at home, you have to go to our website. And you have to click on up here, it says programs. So you click on that. And then over here, it says art. So you go over to art. And then you scroll down past my picture there. And right here, there's two forms that you're going to need to do this. If you're doing this at home, you won't have these from me. Um, so you'll have to either print them or just kind of work on them on your computer and then send them to me or, or um, just finish them on, on your computer. So here's a speech bubble. You're going to need that. Click on that and it will start to download. And you can open that. Okay, and that's, this is what that paper looks like, and it's got a couple different artworks. You're only going to choose one, okay, but that's where they all are. So you can look at them and pick which one you want to do. And the other, so when you go back to our website, right below that one, there's another one that says Cake Critique. You're going to need that paper, so if you can print that out, that would be probably the easiest way. But um, you can also, so it downloads it, and you open it up. You can also just fill it in, so it downloads it as a Word document. So in Word here, you can write your name here, Mr. Archibald, and name of the artist and artwork. Um, well, we'll talk about that where that you can find that later, and then here is the part that you fill in. So if you print this out, you can just fill in those in with a pencil or a pen. Um, if you're doing it on your computer, just click in there type your answers in there and then you can print it out that's another way you can work on this okay so if you're with me in class what we're going to do today is called a cake critique or an art critique okay we are going to be looking at this artwork and we're going to be observing okay looking closely at it and trying to figure out some different things about it Okay, and we have a couple different artworks we're going to be looking at today. Um, so about, I think, six artworks um, that you can choose. So you can choose this one if you like it, or there's uh, five others that you can choose. But this is the first one we're going to look at. So on your paper, you're going to choose one of these papers. Okay, and they all have the artwork on the front, and on the back, all of them have this. It's called a, a cake critique, okay, because it's put in a cake here, and there's a couple different questions here for you. Okay. Um, now the top part is easy. You fill in your name. Your name, name of artist and artwork. Okay. Now on every one of these artworks, on the bottom of the artwork, down here, is where the first part is the name of the artist. So John Stuart Curry. So that's what you would put in the name of the artist part. And then there's a little comma. And then the, that's, the next part is the name of the artwork. So this artwork is called Tornado Over Kansas. So if you're at home, what you're going to want to do is pause it. Pause this video on the, on the artwork that you like because you'll be able to see on the bottom the information, the name of the artist and the artwork. So that's just filling it in. Okay, so no one should get that wrong. It's just copying the words down. Okay, now the second question on here says one thing I like about this artwork is so you look at your artwork whichever one you've chosen and you pick one thing in the artwork that you like okay there has to be something if if one of the artworks has nothing absolutely nothing that you like about it don't choose that one because you're gonna have to choose something that you do some at least one thing in the artwork that you like about it so one thing I could write and make sure you're filling these in complete sentences. Don't just write chicken or something on yours. Okay, it has to um, be a sentence. So one thing I like, maybe, one thing I like about this artwork is that there's a lot of emotion going on. So it looks like there's a lot of emotion. Maybe that's one thing that I really like about this artwork. So that's what I would write in that first part. Now the second one, question, the next one says, one thing I don't like about this artwork is, okay, so there must be something that you don't like about the artwork. Okay, maybe I don't like 
I'll say, I do not like that the horses in the background over here are in danger. Okay, they're going to get picked up by the tornado. And I wish they wouldn't. I wish they ran away. Okay, but put that in one sentence. So one thing I don't like is that the horses are in danger or something like that. Don't just put horses because I don't know what you don't like about the horses. So one thing you don't like about the artwork it could be about the way that they painted it. It could be anything. One thing you don't like. It's your opinion. It doesn't uh, you're, This isn't really right or wrong. You can't be right or wrong on this. It's really as long as you write it in a complete sentence um, and it's something that has to do with the artwork then great that's that's what I want and then the last question is I think this artwork this artist made this artwork because so now you want to think of why this artist made this artwork okay was it just to make something pretty I don't think so okay this artwork isn't really pretty in a, in a certain sense it's not something that's just beautiful to look at okay it's kind of scary so why do you think they wrote it so maybe I think um, this artist remembers that this happened to him when he was a, a little boy or a little girl okay and this is what happened to him so he's telling a story from when he was little okay maybe that's what it's about and he's writing a story about um, when he was little now the different art artworks you'll be able to guess something different so why do you think the artist made it that is the bottom part there okay down at the bottom I think this artist made this artwork because and try to make it a complete sentence don't just write pretty or don't just write story or something like that but write make it a complete sentence so that you can communicate your idea clearly Okay, and then on the back of the artwork, now this is for one of the other artworks, but on the back of the artwork, there's a blank uh, with speech bubbles in it. So you're going to fill those speech bubbles in like what you would have that person say. This is a more of a creative writing. So not everything on this part needs to be in complete sentences. I ran and grabbed the one for this one so this is what this one looks like and if you made this at home you might have it in color or you might have it like this in black and white too that's okay this is the one that I'm gonna give to the people in class okay they are black and white so in those speech bubbles what are those different people saying so this one over here is going to the mom there Okay, what is the mom saying or thinking so maybe she's thinking oh no I have to get my family down in the cellar oh. So I'll write something like that in there. And then this one looks like it's going to the dad. So what is the dad thinking? What is he saying? This one is to the little boy here, holding the cat. And that cat doesn't seem very happy. So what is that boy saying or thinking? And then down here, there's a little chicken. Okay, what is that chicken thinking or saying? Or is it thinking anything? It doesn't look too scared there, too frightened. It doesn't know what's coming. So that's what you're going to do. And for all the different artworks, if you're at home, I want you to pause the video on the artwork that you, want to you decide to do. If you're in school here, I'll have the artworks up on the board and you can pick which one you like. And, and do that. So here's the first one. This is by John Stuart Curry called Tornado Over Kansas. Pause on this video if this is the artwork that you like. This is the second artwork by Carmen Lomas Garza. It's called La Feria en Reynosa. If you want to choose this artwork, pause now and fill in your papers.
This artwork is by an artist named Benjamin West, and it's called The Battle of La Ho. It's right there in the bottom of the artwork. If you would like to choose this artwork, pause the video and fill in your papers. This artwork is by Alan Rohan Kreit and it's called Parade on Hammond Street. If you want to choose this artwork, pause now and fill in your papers. This is artwork called, this artwork is made by George Surat. It's called A Sunday on La Grande Yacht. If you would like to choose this artwork, pause your video now and fill in your papers. And here's the last artwork by Edward Hopper, and it's called Nighthawks. If you would like to choose this artwork, pause your video and fill in your papers.